Now, what can you observe less in this um, function? Okay, we have here a function h, where our y value, as we approach x equals three, where is x equals three? This one. Okay. If if we know this, if we trace, or if we check, if we, as we approach three, it will depend. The value of your y will depend whether you approach it from the right or you approach it from the left. Like for example here, you approach from the right. So as you approach a, um, 3, what's the value of your h, uh, of your y? As you can see, the value here is 6. Can you follow? Or the, the value of y is approaching also 6. But if you approach 3, from the left here, your function is approaching what value? It is 4. So what can we conclude from here? As you notice, they are not the same. The limit are not the same on both sides. When you approach it from the right, the value is 6 or it is approaching 6. But if you approach from the left, it is approaching 4. So that means they doesn't have the same. But if, like we have discussed, the limit must be the same from both sides. Whether you, whether you take it from right, you take it from left, they should have the same. So therefore, in this case, the limit doesn't exist. Okay? So take note that when a limit doesn't approach the same value from both sides, we can say that the limit doesn't exist in that function. Okay? There's no limit. For example, another example for you to understand. We have here a function of g. Okay? As you can see, we have here the graph of the function g. The question is, which of the limits exists so we have here four choices. We are to check whether these limits do exist. Okay, let us first try having this limit of g of x as x approaches 3. Okay, so we have two, two approaches to be done. It should be done from the right and from the left in order to check if the limit really exists. So it should be the same from the right and from the left. Okay, let's start with the right. Where is 3? This is 3. Okay, this is 3. So as you approach from the right, what's the value of your g of x? It is 6, right? But if you approach from left, what's the value of your g? 3. So what can we conclude? So since they are not the same, therefore, this choice here is our answer or this i'm sorry this is not answer this is the choice where the limit doesn't okay so the answer is doesn't here so we cannot have this kasi yung question natin is saan lang dito yung nag exist yung limit okay let us try the second choice which is Limit of G as GX approaches 5. Where is 5? This one, this 5. Okay? So if you approach from right, what's the value? What does it approaches to? It approaches 4. How about from the left? From left. Okay. And then, there. So it still approaches 4. So therefore, this limit exists at x is to 5. How about as we approach 6? Where is 6? This one. As we approach 6, this one is 6. From the right, the value is 3. Okay, from the left, it is also 3. So therefore, this also exists. And for the 7, this is 7 plus this one. So as we approach 7, this one, the value is 
4. And from the left, it is also 4. So therefore, these three choices, as your x approaches 5, 6, and 7, we can say that their limits exists. Okay? I hope that you get it plus. Now, another example. Another example is this one. Okay, we are given here a function of g or g of x where g is defined for all real numbers except for x is equal to 5. Because as you can see class, the graph, at x equals 5, there's a hole, right? A hollowed hole, which means that at that or that value there, it's not included in the domain. Okay, now the question is, what is the reasonable estimate for limit of g of x as x approaches positive 5? Okay, so ano nga ulit yung gagawin? What we will do is we will approach 5 as we go approach from right. So this is from the right. So what's the value of y? It is negative 2. How about from the left? Is it also negative 2? Is it the same? Yes. It is also negative 2. So which means that our limit is negative 2. Okay? So the answer plus is negative 2. Pero pag yan, hindi nag-equal. So the answer is the limit doesn't exist. Now the question, ma'am, what if there's no graph? How can we determine the limit? Okay. So you can use the table class, ha? Just like what we have done earlier, this one. You can use um, increasing toward that number or pwede rin yung decreasing. Basta approaching. Approaching ka to that point. So halimbawa, um, x approaches 5. So yung gagawin mo, try mo yung mga values na decreasing. Halimbawa, 5.001, 5.0001, ganyan. Or those numbers which is Increasing towards 5, which are, for example, 4.999, 4.999999. Okay? So, wag mong gamitin yung exact na, na number itself. Like, for example, x approaches 5. Do not use the exact 5. Because, class, there are numbers which um, will give you undefined answer. Pag exactly five yung yung exactly that number yung gagamitin mo. That's why we are advised to to just approach the number. Do not hit the the number itself, but rather approach it. So as um the near you can get, so the better. Okay. So yung numbers lang na malapit doon. Wag mismo yung number. Okay. So you can use table to estimate. Take note. Estimate the value of the function. Or if the graph is available, so you can trace it, approach it from the right, and approach it from the left. Okay, so that's it. That's it for the sum of the, um, or the principle of limit. That it should have the same limit, or it should have the same value from the same side, or from both sides.